Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back. And today it is time for some more Alpha Star action. We are on the map Cairo Junction today for match number one. It is a Protoss versus Zerg. And playing Protoss, we have got Alpha P, Alpha Toss, doing his thing. Probably going to massacre this poor, poor Diamond Zerg in the top left-hand side of the map. I know, I know that some of you have been uh, been wanting to wait for Alpha Star to get some of those more GM games and higher level games out anyway. Uh, on this channel, though, we are casting every single Alpha Star game. We have got, I think it's about 100 replays or so left to go. So not too many, and then, but some point in there, we're going to get to the remaining, like, uh, longer... we got a couple of longer Alpha Star games to do, and then we got... Uh, some high-level Alpha Star games to round out the series. Uh, on another note, uh, I might cast a couple of Probot games or something on the channel, if that's something you guys are interested in. But uh, yeah, kind of crazy. About 100 Alpha Star games left to go on the channel. I never thought we'd make it. I, uh, no, I kind of did think we'd make it. But uh, I never I never thought uh, we'd see the end so close. Now, ladies and gentlemen, seeing as how we have got one probe harassing about 11 drones. Let's go for 12 likes on this video. If we could do that, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you guys would subscribe too, if you enjoy the content, as uh, you get get all those uh, new StarCraft videos in your, in your subscription box, which is good stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on what Alpha Star is gonna do to this poor, poor Diamond Zerg. Who, by the way, has gone for an early pool, is going to be looking to put a bit of pressure on Alpha Star. But this ain't Alpha Star's first rodeo, and Alpha Star is the magic man who holds any kind of aggression with complete, complete ease. So I have no doubt at Alpha Star's ability to hold against these six lings. It's already chrono boosting out that adept. Cancels the adept, interestingly enough. I wonder if that's a reaction to seeing this, seeing the overlord. Uh, yeah, these lings might actually get on in now because that was cancelled, or no, Alpha Star just goes for a solid wall off, like a boss. The poor probe is caught outside, which is unfortunate for Alpha Star, but the stalker popping out will be more than enough to defend against just six Zerglings. The Overlord's also going to get shot, zipped and zapped by that uh, Photon Particle Disruptor, and then... Uh, Alpha, the diamond player actually behind this, oh, 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 is potentially going to be given uh, Alpha Star a taste of its own medicine, making 10 Zerglings, 18 Zerglings right now. Uh, so he's going to be going for the the rush that Alpha Star does against Alpha Star. I do want to say, though, that the commitment to this is questionable, and oh, that's because it's actually going to be a Baneling Nest. I was wondering what this diamond Zerg was doing with all of this gas he's mining. And then uh, the answer is, it gonna be Banelings trying to crash the gates of Alpha Star. We'll see how well this is gonna work for the Diamond Zerg. I love it. I love when people try and cheese out the AI as uh, Alpha Star is magic at holding things. But is it magic enough to stop all these soon-to-be Banelings at its store? The Diamond Zerg is actually just gonna run in and straight up start attacking. This uh, this wall, the cyber core is going to be under fire. The sentries can always toss down force fields to save it, however. And the diamond zerg does back off. We take a look. There hasn't been any banelings made just yet, but that baneling nest is now finished. So that was kind of like a half committal from the diamond zerg. He lost eight lings in the process. He's making a baneling right now, but that's because he's so broke that he can't afford to make any more. He's making a lot of lings, not so many banelings. There we go. More and more banelings on the way. Uh, this cyber core has already taken damage, so the Baneling should be able to help get through it rather, rather quickly. We do see this cyber core is indeed going to fall, though. The Lings, they kind of wanted to go in, but then they kind of didn't because of the risk of the force fields. So right now the Zerg player is like, uh, do I go in? There's force fields. Do I not go in? For now, though, he says, I'm just going to make some more Banelings. He's on 16 drones, and oh no! <laughs> Oh, the Diamond Zerg blunder! He cracks under the pressure, and he blows up his own Banelings, and his attack has totally just fallen flat on his face. These five Banelings are going to waddle on in. They're going to hit the Stalkers, but 
They do not kill them. And that was an absolute disaster for the Diamond Zerg. Oh my god, that was terrible. He just blew up all of his Banelings just because he could. He just uh, he just made those Banelings just say, right boss, we'll do it. And then they just self-detonated. Uh, not the most efficient use of Banelings there. We see more Lings are rallying across the map, but this is off the back of 18 drones against Alpha Star on basically double the workers. Literally double the workers. So, not looking too hot here for the Diamond Zerg. At least this was a quick one, though. A quick and dirty win. Uh, dirty being the part of the Diamond Zerg. These Lings are actually going to run into Alpha Star's natural. Maybe start killing off some probes. But the AI is usually pretty good at dealing with this. Probes are going to be pulled. They're going to do that drone or probe micro probe drill against those Lings. The Lings all get cleaned on up. Alpha Star is still looking pretty good this game. We see a Zealot out on the map is skirmishing with the Lings. The Diamond Zerg's micring these Lings as hard as he can. Uh, kills the Zealot. But in the end, it's not looking too good here for him. Alpha Star is now moving out on the map. It's got a warp prism full of stalkers, making an immortal behind this. Uh, yeah, if you're the Diamond Zerg, I wouldn't say that the hopes of winning this game are too high. Uh, this is the part in which if you were a Diamond Zerg, if you could, you'd throw up a dark shrine because you're just that far behind. However, that is not an answer, and we see more lings have been made, but not enough lings. Not enough lings. These stalkers are going to show up. They're going to potentially kill off a couple, couple drones or something. Like just the one drone, just, just to assert dominance. Like one stalker is going to be left behind, potentially to kill off this overlord. The Diamond Zerg wants to go for another big Ling attack, but it's not even really a big Ling attack. It's 26 Lings against seven sentries and a mortal. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. There's some force fields from Alpha Star kind of catching the Lings up. A few made it into the main base, but they'll get cleaned up. The ones at the natural are probably going to get cleaned on up. And yeah. Uh, I don't really know what to say, ladies and gentlemen, but, uh, yeah, join the Discord if you haven't. We talk StarCraft there, talk all the pro games, talk Alpha Star, uh, every now and then someone posts a meme, all that, all that good stuff. We see there is plus one on the way for Alpha Star, not that it really needs it. The Diamond Zerg has completely changed up his plan, or not really, but he's changed up his plan. He's going to go from the old the old Ling run is into the Ling drops, or is he just going to rush towards Aspire off two bases at eight minutes into the game? That I am unsure of. However, he does have two Dropper Lords, so he can try and drop some Banelings in Alpha Star's base, which would be kind of cool. I don't know if the AI would expect that. For now, though, Alpha Star just sitting pretty on two bases for quite a while. We'll probably see a third get thrown up soon. Not that it really needs to, since it's still up against a two-base Zerg. We see a lot of extra gas has been thrown down by the Diamond player, but no Spire has actually been built yet. So that's a bit, uh, that's a bit complicating if he is going to go for a Spire. He kind of needs to build the Spire. Um, 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 maybe he's just going to go Mass Banelink. Four gas, four gas Banelinks. Let's see it. I think that, I think that's actually what we're going to be looking at. You gotta give it to this to this Diamond Zerg for his tenacity. He did get the Overlord speed, so they ain't just slow overlords. And he's just gonna be loading up pure Banelings into these uh, into these Overlords, and he's gonna try and just carpet bomb the ever-loving shit out of Alpha Star. <laughs> and I mean, maybe it'll work. There's a lot of Sentries in that army, but the fact that Archons have been added is uh, is gonna make it a little bit tricky. Um, some zealots ran in, and they died. I'm um, okie dokie. I'm not sure what to say for this one, guys. It's a hundred and twenty-one supply. Just, just look at the supply versus sixty-eight, and that ain't good numbers. Alpha Star is getting up its third base. It's making disruptors, but maybe the Diamond Zerg's onto something. It's pretty hard to catch Zerglings with Disruptors. But here we go. 
The Diamond Zerg gonna give it the ultimate Hail Mary. 52 Zerglings, 12 Banelings, and Dropper Lords are going to attempt to take on two Archons, three Immortals, 12 Zealots, and 11 Sentries. Not to mention the seven Stalkers, too. But, holy cow, that is, by gosh, a lot of Sentries for Alpha Star. I kinda do hope we see the Banelings actually hit these. That would make me very happy. Uh, we could see 12 Banelings blow up 11 Sentries. That would be pretty cool. Except the Zerg player's going home because the Alpha Star's counterattacking with a Prism. And he's saying, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, what do I do? Alright, the Lings are gonna come back, start start killing them Zealots. Uh, yeah. We wait. The Diamond Zerg's moving back across the map. At this point, if he spent all of his resources, he could probably have, like, 30 Banelings in Dropper Lords. Uh, he's just having a hard time, though, dealing with these Zealots in his main base. Alpha Star with its Prism. Doing a lot of damage. Uh, the Lings are running in. They're all just gonna die, but in come the Banelings! Here we go! Do they unload? Do they unload? No, they don't. One unloaded. Oh god, that was terrible. Okay, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so after that last game was just, if I'm being honest, god-awful. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see if a Master Zerg is going to do a little bit better against Alpha Star than that Diamond Zerg did. And the answer to that is hopefully. That was, that was a little painful. A little tiny bit painful. For now, though, good old ZVZ. A bit of a scrappy matchup at times, but it's got Ling Bane, which will make it always entertaining to watch. Uh, Ling Bane fights is like a knife fight in a phone booth, which I think is the best possible description of it that I could imagine. We see a hatchery on the way for the Masters player. Alpha Star getting up its hatchery too, so normal builds. Normal, normal builds. And yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a replay counting right now. As far as the matches go, which uh, which are not of the best Alpha Star, we have got give or take 50. So probably probably about 20 more Alpha Star videos before we get into like the final of the best of the best of Alpha Star. About that many. And then, uh, then we'll have our finale. We take a look at the, uh... The production tab. Everything's pretty darn mirrored. These guys are just looking in a mirror. Alpha Star moving across the map with its Soul Overlord. Gonna see that everything is, uh... Everything's looking pretty normal. We have got not too much going on. So, so, yeah, not not too too much going on. So I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd read a comment on the channel here since it's been been a while that we've done that, uh, and I shall read Adam's comment from two days ago, and he says this is better than real sports right now. Uh, that is a comment on Alpha Star versus the Blue Flame Attack. And I think that the answer to that is, well, there's not much real sports right now, so you're darn sure right about that. I, I don't know if that last game was better than real sports. But as far as esports go, StarCraft's pretty darn good. Uh, I've been watching, uh, watching StarCraft 2 pro matches for about seven... Oh gosh. Yeah, six, seven years at this point. And I have just love being able to follow all the pro players and all that and uh, see them grow see them perform better see new champions happen see the scene shift uh seven years ago when i started watching it would have been unthought of having someone like Cyril come along and completely shake up where the best player in the world is from now as far as the builds go we see things starting to heat up a little bit talking about the actual match we have got a lair on the way for the Masters player, Alpha Star is just getting up its Roach Ward. Potentially gonna go for one of those Roach timing attacks that it's known for. Uh, the Masters player, I mean, is looking very, very similar to Alpha Star, just plus the lair. So we'll see 
as his roach horn finishes up, if he's going to start making roaches, which will save his life from the attack of Alpha Star, but take a look at this. This is a classic Alpha Star build. It's going to move the Queens out, push away the Overlords of the Masters player, and then just move across the map with a bunch of roaches with the Queens too, and go to kill the Masters player. We've seen Alpha Star do this build probably, oh, like a dozen times now or so, and a lot of players just die to it. We see the Spires on the way for the Masters player, but the killer thing about Alpha Star's timing is that it hits before the Spire's done. It brings the Queen, so we, the Queen, so even if, if the Spire's done, you're screwed as the Masters player. And we do see the Masters player making a few roaches, about to throw up a third base, but that does not seem to be enough to defend against the already 10 roaches of Alpha Star, the more that are being produced. This is just crazy, crazy all in from the AI. In goes Alpha Stock, or, or in goes the Masters player. He's got an Overseer. He spots that there's no lair. He sees the Roach Horn, but does he know that this attack is going to be coming? Look at this. He starts plus one, but that's definitely not going to be done in time for this attack. He's starting to really wisen up to the fact that this attack is coming for him, but the damage may already be done. He sees the Roaches. He sees the Queens. He's just laying hard on that roach key but take a look at the supply it's currently 36 to 61 it is going to be a tough tough hold for the masters player he's got a couple spines on the way he's got his queens brought to the front but all this investment that he's gone for is not going to help him defend here his spire his lair will be useless and that's what makes this timing attack from alpha star so strong the fact that the AI didn't commit to a third base. The AI is just in kill mode. The AI is about to kill off the Roach Warren that belongs to the Masters player. And that means no more Roaches can be made by him. He's got to rebuild that Roach Warren. He's just sitting at his natural. He's playing it very, very cautiously. But man, is this ever a lot of supply for Alpha Star. The AI is going to try and push in. Queen's eating frozen balls is not good for the Masters player. He's got as many reinforcements as he can coming out. His spines are putting out some extra damage, but the corrosive balls are really raining down, and Alpha Star seems to have just too much. It's going to be another boffening from the AI. Going to be showing us that it's it doesn't matter against Diamond or Masters player. The AI will win so, so many of its games. And look at this, it is just another one. Alpha, Alpha Star Bop it. 100% this game. And this is such a strong build. If you guys need a good ZVZ build, do this. That's all I can say. That is all I can say, 100%. Uh, yeah. The Masters player is, is Dundies. He's, he's big Dundies. And, uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning into this video. Uh, it's been fun casting more Alpha Star. Tomorrow is going to, or the day after this video, will be a pro replay cast, so make sure to check that out. Join the Discord if you haven't. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to support the channel, get some coaching, get the other various perks, consider becoming a member. You can do that by uh, pressing the link in the description or using the join button. My name is Laughing Games. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.